You know, parabolas are so beautiful, and part of their beauty is their, is their symmetry. If you find that axis of symmetry, then in fact you know whatever happens on the right, a sort of similar thing, a reflective thing is going to happen on the left. It's like a mirror image of each other. So the key thing is to actually find that axis of symmetry. And if you think about it, a parabola is going to have, along that axis of symmetry, either a, a low point right here, if, the, if it's a happy face parabola, or a high point, if it's a sad face parabola. And finding that point, which is called the vertex of the parabola, is really useful when you want to actually depict the function through a graph. So let's take a look, for example, at this. Here we're given a parabola. And this is actually uh, called uh, a form that's called the vertex form. But it's just a parabola. You can see you've got x's squared in there. And what I want to do is I want to actually figure out exactly what the axis of symmetry is and what the vertex is. OK, so how do you do that? Well, if it's in this form, it's actually pretty easy. So here's the secret. The secret is to write it in this generic um, vertex form, which is some constant a times the quantity x minus h, all squared, plus k. And if you can write it and express it that way, then you can just read off the information. For the axis of symmetry, is nothing more than the line x equals h, that number right there. So it's going to be a vertical line to denote the axis of symmetry. And the vertex can be, again, read off by just saying it's h comma k. So in this case, I could just read off the vertex. And how would I do that? All I do is I first have to write it exactly in this form. And the key here is to notice that negative sign. You've always got to make that a negative. So in this case, for example, I'm going to have to rewrite f. This is the only little tricky part to this. And how do you write that? Well, you write it as minus a negative. So you write it as x minus negative 4. You see how I just did that? It's the same thing as x plus 4, but now it's written in that form. And so I see the true. And the same thing here, plus negative 1. And so now I see that the h is actually negative 4, and the k is actually negative 1. I've seen people mess this up a jillion times. The important thing here to remember is to always write it as a negative and whatever. So the vertex is the point negative 4, negative 1. The axis of symmetry is x equals negative 4. There you go. Couldn't be any easier.